Hi and welcome to this uh, Blitz video short. One of the questions we get quite frequently is um, how to track or audit uh, supplier changes. Uh, so the purpose of this short is to go through the process how we would do that. First and foremost, um, you need to have uh, some SQL uh, to track on the, the changes that are going to be made against the supplier audit table. And I'll just show you, um, if you like, the foundation of the setup, something that would happen in uh, sysadmin. And you would get your system administrator to perform the audit trail setup, which would include uh, groups. And, and so you basically would create a very simple uh, audit group on supplier, uh, which would then uh, include various uh, aspects. So in this particular case, supplier and supplier site. Um, you then make sure that you've got the right columns that you want to track in that um, in the AP uh, supplier table. So, for example, uh, one of the things I had to do here was to add the supplier or the vendor name uh, to the to the table. Well, it's, it's, so you basically just down arrow and then add a particular field. Uh, like I said, in this case, I added vendor name and then I ran the job to then basically update the audit tables. Once that process is complete, you've got your tracking in place, um, you would then develop your SQL. Um, and so what we're going to do here is we select the supplier name, supplier number and the modified field name, which in this case is the vendor name. Uh, and we look at uh, what the value was previously versus what the value is now uh, and then who is modified and at what particular date and time that modification was done. And if I take this um, SQL that I know now works, I can drop that into our Blitz report. Um, in this case, I have actually started one uh, called the AP Supplier Audit. Um, so I'll just click into the setup and just make sure that we've got the right version of this um, of this particular SQL. You see the Blitz is keeping version controls, which is quite handy when you've got various developers moving between environments. Could be they develop on a test environment, move to um, you know a, a user acceptance test, and also it could be that there's various sign-offs uh, between these stages. So uh, you know sign off for UAT, for example. Um, so that would be version two. I'm going to create a version three. Um, so I'm going to replace this um, SQL with the one that I just prepared earlier, and I'll save that. Um, I'm going to show you the parameter that I added. I was really just interested in a simple change cutoff. Um, so I literally typed change cutoff in here uh, on the particular date uh, that I'm interested in is the modified date, uh, which is in the SQL where condition. Um, and then I'm going to select a date field here. You could pick up the preceded values from Oracle or any of those different types there, but I'm only interested in date. Uh, and I'm going to say where it is greater than my default or the selected value that, that you're going to choose at runtime. I've assigned this uh, as at a user level, but we could equally assign it um, for responsibility or a group uh, or indeed an application or any of the other levels. Um, but I'm not going to do that. And for categorizing the report, I'm going to, to put it into category of uh, Engelatics, which will make it easier to find uh, should you want to query it back later. Um, and now I'm going to run it. So it brings in our default premise, the one I just created and I will execute and then it should send the output uh, to Excel. And so there we have it. We have um, our supplier, we've got our supplier number, uh, we're tracking changes to vendor name. Uh, in this case, the initial value was AG Glass Inc. changed. It's been moved to Enginatics. Uh, it was done by uh, Bobby Ackerman and it was done at uh, 13.45 today. And then there are other changes that have taken place. You could equally extend your SQL to track different uh, fields, such as bank accounts, uh, all those good things that you would expect, payment terms perhaps. 
um, and anything else you want to audit. Um, and so that really concludes uh, what I wanted to show you today. Um, by all means, get in touch with me if you have any questions.